Hi everyone, welcome to another video, another F1 Diecast review. This is gonna be a review slightly about this whole series of uh, the Formula One uh, car collection, um, but also I'm gonna have a quick look of this model car as well. So this is the actual model. It they they release one issue every fortnight, basically two weekly and it's always coming on a wednesday so that was basically yesterday that's the actual one the the new one in the new issue it's a minardi m191 driven by pierre luigi martini i think it's a pretty nice looking livery i quite like this car but the reason i'm not buying too many of these magazines because it's not very high quality if I show you a few close details, you will uh, probably agree with me. So if you just take like a quick look, looks fantastic for considering the 12 pounds it costs. It's a really nice car and um, if you have a low budget, probably your best option is this magazine. And even myself, I would probably order these, but but I, I prefer the Mini Champs and Spark cars and I show you why. So basically the main reason is there's no driver in the seat, which is one thing, but that's the least important thing. So if you have a look, these are not, not very high quality. Um, if, you, if you see the front wing, it's like on this side, it's slightly closer to the, to the chassis, closer to the to the wheel on the other side it's a bit more like further away so there are like little little things that they are not perfectly matching like even you see it's it's com comparing to the floor it's not it's not straight so it's just little things like that and also if you look from behind can you see the mirrors yeah that one is that one is the left hand side mirror is like huh? yeah so again nice looking car shiny good paintwork even the sticker is like more or less okay except a little little mistake over there if you see yeah, slightly yeah they could have done a little better job on applying the decal the the sticker the decal whatever you pronounce it so but again you pay 12 pounds for it so so what do you expect for the for the money you pay it's like a pretty nice model pretty good uh, I only have three of these this one is the third one I have both and um, if I buy one of these it has to be like relatively special or unique meaning like not released by mini champs or spark so if it's something that the the option is basically this one or nothing. I don't I don't mind to buy it. And if there is a better version available, I, I'd rather wait and buy the better one. Th this livery is I quite like it. It's so simple, it's just black with a little white and some yellow on the end. But for some reason, I I really like the shape of the car. That's like early nineties, obviously nineteen ninety one. The shape of the car, the nose of the car, it's it's really old school, epic. I quite like it. Um, so apart from this one, from this collection I've got Jack Brabham, that's 121st issue, then 122nd, and then I have them both a few 126, but again I'm not really planning to buy a lot of these, I still stick to Mini Champs and Spar. And the other ones I've got here is Felipe Massa's F10 Ferrari from 2010. I really like this car, but I didn't really want it to spend much money on it, so that's why I decided to buy this one. I quite like it. It's it's one of one of the nicest looking Ferraris, I think. I mean, just the shape of the car and the whole livery and everything. Yeah, it's it just looks nice, I think. So I thought it worth twelve pounds, but again. Yeah, it's like if you if you look from closer, you see that that wheel. Yeah, little things like that, but you know, when there is lo loads of little things like it, then then they are just add up and 
that's why I'd, I'd rather get mini champs but I quite li like this one and uh, also it's a, it's a special one 800 Grand Prix which hasn't been released by either Hot Wheels or mini champs obviously not doing Ferraris anymore um, you could buy like a special sticker for the Hot Wheels if you wanted to change the normal F10 to, to this special one but, but I didn't want it to, to bother that much with it I just decided to buy it and the other one, the, the simple reason of buying this is just because I, I haven't got anything from that era really like 1966 Jack Brabham's car uh, he was obviously driving his own cars and and I wanted something like this. I mean, it's 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 a really really old school, good old days Formula One car. So this one is actually this this is probably the best of all three of them, especially because it's 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 got like rain tires. I think so. It looks like a bit more realistic. I think, in my opinion. So um, yeah, nice. Nice little car is this one, um, <clears throat> but anyway, I, I don't, I don't really plan to buy any more of these. But I thought I just uh, mention it. So this is the the newest uh, version of uh, this magazine. That's that's in the new issue, the Minardi M191, and um, probably each model are like slightly different. So if you buy one, maybe maybe your mirror won't be dodgy, but. But then it could be some other things that maybe the wheel or maybe the rear wing is gonna be like some sort of difference. It will have some defects maybe. Or if you're very lucky, maybe you get a spotless one. But this one was the only one in the shop, so I, I still wanted it. But yeah, so so this is it basically. That's that's a review of this little review of this Minardi from 1991, and. Uh, Quick, quick look in the magazine. It's basically, obviously, you can read a bit about the driver, about the about the era, like in what was going on in 1991. And if you go further into it, it's like technical data sheet, which is pretty handy. You can see all the specs, like maximum power, 710 horsepower at 13,800. Uh, revs per minute so yeah it's quite informative it, it's even just for the magazine it's 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 quite good i quite like it you know so uh, this this is it pretty much and then on the back page you can see what's coming in the next issues so it's gonna be ralph schumacher's uh, williams bmw from 2001 and the one after is gonna be a 1996 car general lazy benetton so yeah, that's it pretty much. Thanks for watching guys and uh, see you soon. Take care.